So, can you remember throwing your first pot? Or what's your first memory of... Yeah, as a kid, we just used to play in, play in the pot for fun. No, I can't. No. That's <laughs> <coughs> simple. Did, you, did all of your siblings play in the pot? Yeah, we all had to play. In fact, we had a wheel in our playroom, as you can remember, to encourage us to have a play. <laughs> was that in... No, that was in the old um, pottery... Well, what was the flat part of the pottery, which wasn't being used as such. Yeah. And did, did your dad, like, teach you as such, or did you just sort of... No, 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 you no, you just pick it up by watching them do it, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Observing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and when was when did you first think I want to do pottery? Did it? Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Well, I decided I didn't want to be a potter because they don't get paid much <laughs> and they don't have any holidays to speak of. So, I just, so I, my decision was to be a teacher, mm. like my mother. In which case, I got paid. Oh. Or at least twice as much, and lots of holidays. But then, well, as it turned out, I came back to help Dad out at one stage when Joe went away, and um, I never really went, I didn't go back to teaching. I decided, well, okay, I'm staying here. So it was kind of a roundabout decision. I was teaching pottery, but then I came back to be a potter. Most people do it the other way around. Yeah. They're a potter and they can't afford to be a potter, so they become a teacher, but they do it the other way. <laughs> yeah. Do you miss teaching? Like, do you enjoy it? Yeah, I used to enjoy teaching, but nah, that's fine. Yeah. It would have sent me mad by now. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited about the new um, teaching wing? Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Teaching wing is going to be good. Um, and do you think, like, you're doing the teaching sort of at college, do you think that helped you as a potter, your skills or? Well when I was learning to be a teacher, mm. well no that's what I found out, I knew a lot more than I thought I did, because I never had much interest in pottery except as a sort of bit of play, you know, and then I, but then when the lecturers got, we did hand building and stuff like that like you do for school kids and and then he got round to doing it. He was supposed to be a throwing lesson. And he said, well, Mike, uh, can you show us how to throw a pot? And I said, hang on, you're the teacher. I'm the student. He said, yeah, but I can't throw. And I suddenly thought, ah. <laughs> well, I do now centre a bit of play and make some horrible pot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. In other words, it was very easy for me to learn to be a pottery teacher. <laughs> mm. Um, so the, it wasn't sort of rigorous practical learning? Is no, teaching is not. You don't have to be good at something to teach it. You just have to know how. Um, but when I came back to work in the pottery, it helped that out. When I, when I left teaching for a bit, it was only supposed to be a temporary thing. Um, then I, I was at the bottom. You know, I was because the stuff I could, I couldn't make ten pots the same. I'd never tried to do it. You know, I never. Mm. So my throwing skills was basic. And um, so, yeah. How old were you when you came there? 20s, uh, 22, 23, when, I, when I, I taught for just over a year and a half. And then I, it was supposed to be just a temporary gap in my teaching career. Yeah. To help Dad out when Joe was in Africa. Um, but then he never came back. Well, he did for a bit, but he, he wanted to set his own place up. So hmm. it was, you know, a little bit, a little bit of responsibility. Poor old Dad, he hasn't going to have a son to, you know, carry on. And, and partly the fact that I realised that if I was going to be a teacher, I was going to very quickly be a head of department in what was in those days was a tech, nowadays it'd be university. But that then meant that I'd be teaching in a city. Mm. I don't like cities, I don't even like towns very much. <laughs> so then, so I'd, I'd have been living outside and commuting in, and even though I was earning more money and everything else, I probably wouldn't be any better off. And I'm not sure I'd been happy. I just don't like. Yeah, towns of where you go shopping and entertainment, but not to live there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you were drawn back to Winchcombe? So some of it was um, family responsibility, helping Dad, 
and some of it was the fact that I like living around here. Yeah. Um, you know, and yeah, all in all, I, it took me a few years. I came in and had a few trips before I left, before I finally settled down. Yeah. And did you, what were you making? Like all range of things or? Well, I started off making mini bowls. Like four inch bowls. Made, four inch bowls. And, <laughs> and there was also, we used to make four inch platters and little things, you know, mm. until I could get them right. And then you slowly go up the range. That's the way Winston's always worked. And I do the same thing, yeah. Yeah. Have you made most things on the range? Yeah, I've had a go at most things, but I settled down because I like bowl, making bowls my best, so I mainly make bowls, you know. That's what I like doing best. Yeah. <laughs> and of course plates because I can. <laughs> <laughs> what did Ray like throwing most? He liked throwing everything. Yeah. Yeah. Dad liked throwing everything. Yeah. yeah. And it, did it, when the workshop was, how, what was the most amount of people who worked here? Oh, what? Like in the seventies, was it? Well, back in the early in the fifties, well, before we went here. Yeah. But back in Carthage's day, there was something like 12 people working here. Right. But then they had jobs like going up on the hillside and cutting down wood to burn the kiln. You know, it was high intensive, high labour intensive, which has got less to the, over the years. But our probably biggest turnover time production wise was probably the 60s. Yeah. And then we had a team, I don't know, about six or something. But that was really high production. With who was here, like Eddie? Uh, well, but we were Don before Eddie, but because um, we Sid and Sid and um, Dad and Don were the roots of the firm. Yeah. And um, but then we always had extra people, and there's, there was well, you look at the history book, there's always been notes. But when I was working here, um, that was after Don left, really. And then we had Eddie and me and Nina and who else was on there? So. Um, no, Tom was here, yeah, Tom and Molly, I don't know, anyway. There was a team of about six of us, I think. Maybe in that. Yeah. Look in the book, it's all Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> and do you remember the old kiln being fired? Just, yeah, I just remember the last.